Today we're going to turn an old laptop into the best smart TV and we're going to do this with a dual boot Linux environment. This is a great way to repurpose an old computer into a smart TV using Libre Elect slash Kodi and a full lightweight anti-X Linux as a full OS. This is half of a DIY home smart TV project. The construction of the TV mount and floating laptop desks I will provide as a link later. Any data on this hard drive will be deleted. If all had went well, we should have a full installation of LibreLec Kodi. Now we're going to install NTX Linux. After NTX Linux has installed, when you reboot, you will notice Grub only has NTX Linux as your choice. Log into NTX Linux, go to the command line, and install the following. You might have to type sudo if you are not logged in as root. So it's sudo app install grub-customizer. If you follow the instructions and use the clean hard drive for installation, the following should be the same. Let us discover how the hard drives are partitioned. You'll have to type the following command if you are not logged in as the root user. sudo space B-L-K-I-D. You should receive an output like this. Libre Elect creates these two partitions, slash dev, slash SDA1, and it's sometimes labeled MS-DOS, and slash dev, slash SDA2. And this is always labeled storage. The partition labeled MS-DOS is for the operating system and lab storage is for storage. This is the information we need. Change if yours has a different hard drive partition numbering. You should receive an output like this. Again, if you are not logged in as root, you're going to have to type sudo nano slash etc slash grub 
dot d slash 40 underscore custom and you're going to add the following text below into that file and all this does is tell grub where to find LibreELEC. If you are logged in as root, you know you do not need to use the sudo before the commands. Set root equal hd0 comma 1 is the first hard drive denoted with uh, slash dev slash sd a. If it was the second, it would look like slash dev sdb uh, following some number. Uh, if it's the first and second, you'd have a one where that x is. The boot is equal to slash dev slash sda1 disk equals slash dev slash sda2 contains the location of the operating system boot information, which is in dev SDA1 and the storage information which is in dev SDA2 for LibreELECT. Update grub with the following command. If you are not logged in as root, you're going to have to prefix the command with sudo. So it's going to be sudo space update dash grub. If you are logged in as root, you do not need to prefix the command with sudo. Move LibreELEC to the top so it boots by default using the grub customizer graphical user interface. That's going to be installed below. So we're going to do sudo space grub dash customizer to install the grub customizer. It's a graphical user interface application. And then we're going to start that same command by typing in grub dash customizer. Then we're going to click on the LibreElect underscore Cody in the choices. It should be at the bottom. And use the up arrow at the top to move it to the line labeled below the line labeled advanced options for Debian. Reboot and both operating systems will be present and LibreElect will be the default OS that loads. If you want to have a textual copy of this instruction, you can head over to that URL that you see on the screen right now. Thanks and best of luck. Have any questions? Ask below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. It's all appreciated. Thank you very much.